Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to our topic, Introduction to Second Language Acquisition. In this meeting, we are going to learn more about uh, common terms, again, related to second language acquisition. And after watching this video learning, you are expected to be familiar with uh, several uh, definition and several distinction related to the second language acquisition. Well, uh, dear students, do you still remember that in the first meeting, I've already clarified the terms related to second language acquisition. And uh, in this occasion, we are going to talk more about what is second language. Right, so in the first video learning, I have broadly defined the scope of second language learning as concerned with any phenomena involved in learning a second language learning. Sometimes it is necessary for us to make further distinction according to the function of the second language will serve in our lives, since this may significantly affect what we learn. Therefore, I'm going to describe the distinction commonly made by the expert, such as a second language, a variant language, a library language, and an auxiliary language. What do these distinctions mean? Okay, let's discuss further about those distinctions. Right, the first is about the second language. Second language is a typically an official or socially dominant language needed for education, employment, and other basic purposes. It is often acquired by minority group members or immigrants who speak another language natively. In this more restricted sense, the term is contrasted with other terms in this list. And second, a foreign language. It is one not widely used in the learner's immediate social context, which might be used for future travel or other cross-cultural communication situation, or studied as a curricular requirement or elective in school, but with no immediate or necessary practical application. What is the example of foreign language in Indonesia? Yes, you're right. English is regarded as a foreign language in Indonesia. And other example is also Arabic language and also French are regarded as foreign language. Next, a library language. It is one which functions primarily as a tool for further learning through reading, especially when books or journals in a desired field of study are not commonly published in the learner's native tongue. And finally, an auxiliary language is the language which learners need to know for some official function in their immediate political setting or will need for purposes of wider communication, although their first language serve most other needs in their lives. And finally, other restricted or highly specialized functions for second languages are designated language for specific purposes, such as French for hotel management, English for information technology, Spanish for agriculture, and a host of others. And the learning of this typically focuses only on a narrow set of occupation specific uses and functions. One such prominent area is English for specific purposes, or people call it as ESP. Okay, dear students, that's all about my explanation about what is a second language. So I hope now you are familiar with its distinction, such as a second language, foreign language, a library language, and an auxiliary language, as well as language for specific purpose. In the next meeting, we will discuss further about what is a first language. Thank you for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.